Hi guys, it's AJ and Phoenix with Dobermans and Bark. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some of the health issues that Phoenix has, uh, some things that older dogs experience, but you might not necessarily read about them on the internet uh, whenever you're looking up specific diseases for certain breeds. Some of the things that Phoenix has, uh, she has skin tags all over her, and of course older people get skin tags too, but hers are popping up just about everywhere on her body, so there's not a lot to do about that. She has cyst, fatty, fatty cyst under her skin, and so she has one right here. It's about the size of a marshmallow, and she has these fatty cysts all over her. One side of her stomach is actually very uh, low to the ground, and it's because a fatty cyst has been growing in there for several years now, and people might say, well, why don't you get those taken off? Well, she has several of them. They're not cancer and to actually take her to surgery and have those removed would increase the chances of her getting an infection and it's just not worth the risk. Well, she has a fungus and this fungus has been a nightmare. At first I thought it was mange because all of her hair was falling off of her back, but I took her to two vets, both of them did samples and they said there's no mange on her whatsoever, but they couldn't figure out what was going on. But I did say, is there any way this could be a fungus growing on her? So they gave me a medicated shampoo and that brought her hair back, but still, again, and I'm showing you a picture of it, it's like a real crusty kind of a stuff, and it has moved all over her body. It's been all over her back, her rear end, down her front legs, on her stomach, and the worst, it's been down the center of her nose. The worst place that it has been is around her left eye, and I was really afraid that it was actually gonna get in her eye, but it didn't do that, and then it was on the outside of her ears, but then it got onto the inside of her ears, and it really scared me because if it got way down in there, I wouldn't be able to get it out. And another medical problem that she has is that she has cataracts, and her cataracts are getting very bad, and so she's very dependent on her hearing to be able to locate things. The next thing is, you'll notice in this picture, just how much of a white beard this girl has. I mean, she, it just looks like somebody took white paint and painted right around her face, almost like a clown face. Uh, and that's kind of, it's cute to me, but I know that that also suggests that she's getting much older. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is the had I really thought about it, when I got her as a puppy, I would have started brushing her teeth uh, so that she was accustomed to that. And I could do that at least once a week. There are lots of different products out there on the market, and maybe they would help uh, if she was younger. But at this point, even taking her to the dentist to get them uh, brushed and clean is not going to improve her gum quality. Um, she doesn't have any teeth that are broken off, anything like that. They're just extremely covered by tartar, and she would just have a much prettier smile if her teeth were whiter than they are. Uh, other than that, she's pretty healthy. I had her chest x-rayed the other day, and her chest is clear, she's healthy, she's just getting old and winded. At this time of the year, it's 100 degrees during the day, and so she doesn't spend a lot of time with me outside, that's why we're out early in the morning. Otherwise, this is AJ and Phoenix, and we thank you for showing up today and watching our program. Give us a like, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell us how we're doing and subscribe. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.